choice edible culinary mushroom, the second most commonly cultivated mushroom behind the white button mushroom in, in the world, basically. Um, but it's the number one that's cultivated on hardwood logs. These are dowels, wooden dowels, inoculated with shiitake mushroom spawn. Um, so the, dowel, the spawn has colonized the dowels and they've begun to eat it. Um, these came from Witchland Woods. Uh, it's a company, uh, Dave Witchland's company in Keene, New Hampshire. He works with, I believe, a grain spawn first, a rye grain spawn um, that he cultures the shiitake mycelium on and sort of expands those out and then takes some of that rye grain and puts it into a sterile bag of wooden dowels and then grows those um, probably in a temperature controlled and humidity controlled environment grow room. Jackson used a drill to go about every four to six inches and we're going to put a dowel in each hole. Um, and I guess one of the key things to do when we were drilling the holes were to kind of alternate as we went around. I'm uh, smashing up uh, a block of beeswax. This will be melted down to paint the ends of the logs. Painting wax on top of the plugs so that other um, spores don't get in and contaminate. And also to keep the moisture inside the log so that the shiitake spores will have lots of nice wet stuff inside to feed off of. So now the log has been drilled and plugged and waxed. And so now what we're going to do is to put these um, in a moist, uh, shady place. Shiitakes are sort of challenged in uh, competing with native competitor fungi, so they'll keep these off the ground and we're going to stack them. So we'll put them in sort of a wood-like setting, thinking about where mushrooms would grow naturally, and then putting a tarp, some sort of burlap, uh, natural permeable material over the top of them will help to control humidity fluctuations and to keep them you know, fairly moist. If we end up getting a really dry season they can be watered during the season as well. We use some maple and alder. Uh, the alder is a little bit less dense of a hardwood so that can be um, six months to one year. So if they're not fruiting in the fall I would expect to see some on those um, this time next year. And the maple, uh, I would expect for a year plus. Alder being a less dense hardwood as well, um, you know, they could last in the three year range, give or take. Uh, maple is a little denser of a wood, and those logs are also a thicker diameter. So while they might take longer to fruit, uh, they may last five to six years. High in protein complex carbohydrates, fiber, vitamin B5, calcium, potassium, iron, and something that's very important, vitamin D. There's actually a way to increase the amount of vitamin D that the mushroom has uh, by taking the shiitake mushroom and leaving it uh, gill side up after you've harvested it, either fresh or dry. Put the gills up and expose them to the sunlight for a day and they are able to absorb um, the sunlight and it activates more of the vitamin D within them. So you're getting a more potent um, dose of vitamin D in that way. And um, I think it's 10 grams of dried shiitakes in that way will provide all of your vitamin D for a week. Whoa. So it's pretty potent.